Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob and we have some really great questions today. I think I say that every week. But my plan is just to help make a difference in your life. Last week I told you I'd talk about pH today. People have a hard time understanding pH. And I know that if I didn't take chemistry class I wouldn't have a clue either. pH is simply a measure of acid and alkaline. Acid is like vinegar alkaline is like baking soda. There's a lot of different theories. I had a lady I had a consultation with yesterday. Her health care provider wants her pH to be 8. That's wrong. Your, your body, what I see from saliva pH, you should be from 6.5 to 7. Now, I, I'm even getting ahead of myself right now. pH is a measure of acid and alkaline. Your body will do whatever it can to maintain pH in the blood at 7.4. Now, there's an acid, there's the pH in your urine, and you have pH in saliva. I really like people to really focus on saliva pH. The best time to take your pH is first thing in the morning before you even get out of bed. That means you have, and we have nitrazine paper, and you can go to our website, because you really should check your pH periodically, because if you're eating too many fruits and vegetables, you'll be too alkaline. But let's go back to the topic at hand. When you first wake up in the morning, before you even use the facility, because there's something called the writing reflex, it starts to change the pH. You take the saliva paper or nitrazine paper, you put it in your mouth. I like to look at the color code and be 6.5. If it's below 6.5 in the 5 area or the 4 area, that means you probably have an acid pH, which is not healthy. A lot of chronic diseases, including cancer and your bones start to um, be cannibalized, you get osteoporosis. On the other hand, when you get at 7 or 7.5, ladies, you may be consuming too much citrus. You could have fibromyalgia. I can tell you, you won't die of cancer with a purple paper or alkaline, but you could have pain syndromes. On the other hand, if your pH is too low, you could have an issue with cancer and other chronic diseases. I'll leave you with this final thought, because I could do a program just on pH alone. When women are over 40 years old, they tend to get pain right here. It's called deltoid bursitis. Apple cider vinegar, one ounce a day will help that. We use organic apple cider vinegar. Dr. Bob, if you wake up in the morning with back pain and sciatica that you did not have before you go to bed, could it be your mattress? First, I want you to know this. I use an extra firm mattress, my wife and I. Um, I don't really think that water beds are a good idea. I think that people feel better because the water beds cause warmth. But see, when you're laying in bed, your body is resting on points and muscles are contracting at night and they're relaxing. I don't think Tempur-Pedic posture forming mattresses are well either. You want your body to be supported on points. That means your physical points in your body. If you have a pain in the morning and you could try a mattress between your mat up uh, you try a board between your mattress and box springs if that helps it's time for a new mattress maybe a quarter inch piece of uh, plywood on the upper part of the bed but what are you eating before you go to bed avoid sugar and dairy products make sure you're drinking water before you go to bed so action step put a board between your mattress and box spring if the pain goes away get an extra firm mattress if the pain does not go away Avoid sugar and dairy because you have to remember your muscles are relaxing at night and so are our joints. Number two, very good question, Dr. Bob. Do you think French vanilla soy creamer for my coffee is all right to drink every day as help for estrogen? First, I don't promote soy ever. Animals should not even eat soy. Most of the soy in the United States today is genetically altered, hybridized seeds. But for people to consume soy, it had to be heated at high temperatures. Soy takes an enzyme out of your body called trypsin. It has a natural affinity for aluminum and zinc. If you want to build up your estrogen, you want to support adrenal gland function. I may suggest a postmenopausal saliva test. We support adrenal gland function. In our practice, we use a product called Emulsion Forte. It's a liquid you put on your tongue, four drops, three times a day, but your adrenal glands are key. Dr. Bob, this morning on NRB, you were discussing the liver and what to eat. I just wonder if I could put all those veggies in a blender and get the same effects. Now, let me talk to you about juicing. I don't really promote juicing, per se, as your exclusive way to eat. Yes, juicing can be a part of your program, not more than eight ounces. See, when you juice, you're putting a lot of 
carbs and very concentrated um, alterating of sugar in your body. I'd rather have you eat the vegetables. You're going to get the fiber. It's going to help you poop. You want to be pooping at least two times a day minimum. If you're juicing, even if you use one of those juicers that they say the fiber is still in it, it's been altered. Never more than eight ounces of juice. I would not go on a total juice fast because your body's going to start cannibalizing muscles. You don't want, she does not want to take any more medication and she wants to help her liver. I personally use dandelion root five drops every day in four to five ounces of water. I also use peppermint leaf four or five drops in four or five ounces of water also. You could try milk thistle in our practice. We use a product called Livetrip Plus two or three a day. And we also use a product from Gaia Herbs called Liver Health. Those are the two best products. If you want to really help your liver, you want to eat Dr. Bob's ABCs in a half a red apple every day, a third cup of beet fiber, and one medium carrot. If you notice, I'm trying to get away from those baby carrots because I hear they've been soaked in chlorine. How do I treat bursitis in my knee? No pain, just swelling. Well, first, is there a knee problem? Have you had an MRI? Have you had any testing done to your knee? If there's swelling in the back of the knee, it's called a Baker's cyst. You may attempt to put ice on your knee. What else you might want to do is get a, a wrap, elastic bandage and wrap from below up. But I wish you could see me right now. What I'm doing is I'm squeezing the muscles in my legs, the quadriceps muscles, the muscles on the front of your legs. So you can go back and replay this. Squeeze the muscles in the front of your legs and all of you watching anywhere in the world could do this right now. You want to do it two or three minutes every day. That will help strengthen your quadricep muscle which in fact will help your knee swelling go down. And you may try B6, B6 150 milligrams every day. We use a product called B6 phosphate in our practice. Starting um, the vitamins with your ADHD profile. Any hints on the fish oils? My kids are not able to swallow the large yellow pills and the fish smells bad. Well, you know, I wish I could give you an answer for that. Um, we actually have a product called BioMega3 Liquid and I take that and it has like a lemon, an essence of lemon in it. The only other thing I would su <coughs> suggest, excuse me, that you do is you mix it in food and then camouflage it that away. And maybe, um, maybe try some cilantro or some kind of fresh herb or put it in some spaghetti sauce and put that on top of some rice pasta. So you can mask it in food. I think that'd be an awesome idea. What about um, natural peanut butter. We don't promote peanut butter. We're almond butter fans. Peanuts have mold in them. Finally, you wanted to know if you could use krill instead. I personally have a concern now because of all the toxicity in the ocean. If you're going to do any kind of fish products, go with Atlantic or North Atlantic. And final question, any advice on insomnia? But I find from my experience, people who have insomnia have exhausted adrenal glands. We just had a young man in our practice that was having major problems with it. He was on sleeping pills, hated taking them. And we used a product called Cytozyme AD, nine a day for like three or four days. And then we went to uh, six a day for three or four days. His adrenal glands were exhausted. One last thought on the insomnia. If you go to bed and you wake up at three o'clock in the morning, it's a blood sugar problem. Now I know that I talked a little bit fast today because I wanted to give all this information to each and every one and I apologize for that. I just passionately want to help all the questions that come in in a week's time period. Repeat this, pass this on. This is a very good um, Ask Dr. Bob. Next week I'd like to talk about is sports injury. You know kids are going back to school, some of you are golfing and I'm going to ask you a trick question right now and we'll answer the question next week. Are you ready? What's healthier? Going on the golf course walking, carrying your bag, or pulling your bag, or driving the cart. Stay tuned.